And I'm actually going to lead with the opening today. Are you? I believe that very strongly. Okay, good. Good, good, good. How are you, Dan? Good, sort of, considering. Okay. I'm not really sleeping particularly well. That's tough. And I went to McDonald's for breakfast because I, I had to leave early. So today was tax day. Oh. You pay your taxes? Oh, I did. All right. So <laughs> I had... I had it already in an envelope, and I just had to put the envelope in the mail. Yeah. I just hadn't put it in the mail. I Technically, it's like right outside that wall it, <laughs> in the mailbox. But anyway, the uh, way you get picked up. So anyway, I was like, I got to go to the office to, to get the tax stuff to mail it because I forgot about it. And then, then I had a 9 o'clock call and then a 10 o'clock meeting in Glassbury. It's like 20 minutes away from here so I was like okay I need to like get out of the house early I need to go get the tax stuff put the tax stuff in the mail then be on the phone like mobile yeah. to take the call in the car on the way to the appointment okay got it Good. so I do all this stuff came to the office grab the thing get in the car put the headphone headphones on or whatever driving guy calls I ended up finishing the call early, so I'm only like 25 minutes into the call because it's like our first call is not a whole lot to talk about. So I'm like, oh, okay, I'm done early. I have some time. And then I get a call from my appointment. They said that they need to cancel. So now I'm in Glastonbury, and I, I had just been driving around, and I was I was done early, and I never where to go. So I just parked in a McDonald's parking lot because I just happened to be right near there. So now I'm like, now I'm out of McDonald's, so I'm just going to go to McDonald's. So I went and got, got breakfast, so now I feel a little gross. But... You feel bad about yourself for eating it? I got a steak, egg, and cheese McMuffin. I didn't even know that was a thing. Okay. It wasn't terrible. Okay. But really, if I'm being honest, when I get McDonald's breakfast, I'm there to eat hash browns. Yes, of course. Hash browns are the bam. Yes. The bam. I don't know what that means. The bam. <laughs> of they course. Bam. So anyway. Uh, let's do the opening. <gasps> Hello, everybody, and welcome to this week's SEO and IPAs. It is the fun weekly hangout about inbound marketing, entrepreneurship, and more for cool people of all shapes, stripes, and colors. As always, I am Daniel Barrett here from official SAD office background headquarters in Middletown, Connecticut. From twofriendlynerds.com, that is twofriendlynerds.com, the world's friendliest web design and internet marketing company. And with me, as always, is... The brains behind the operation, officially the only reason anyone ever watches this show, she believes strongly in life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. It is Patty D'Alessio from reinventinteractive.com. Patty, how are you, my wonderful friend? That makes me so happy, Dan. Does it? <laughs> yes, it does. You like that one? I do. That's my favorite. I think that uh, might be my favorite. It was actual beer reference instead of SEO references, primarily because I'm starting to run out of SEO references. I've got some real doozies waiting for you, though. I like that one, though. Yeah. Bravo. Bravo, my friend. I am terrific. I don't have a long, drawn-out story that goes nowhere that ends in McDonald's parking lots. Well, neither did I. <laughs> I had a taut thriller, <laughs> finally plotted... Yeah. Do you watch Game of Thrones? Do you watch Sorry, Game of Thrones? I do. And yeah. I was so bored in this first episode. I'm I, didn't, I, didn't, I haven't watched it. I didn't watch it. I have to go back and rewatch it because I, I was like, this is horrendous. Even my husband who loves it, read all the books, is like, it's boring me. So I have to, I think. Fine exposition. I don't know. We have to like figure this out. Like they're like, oh, it sure has been two years <laughs> since the last time I saw you. Yes, it has. Our political situation <laughs> has changed. No, no, no. Uh -oh. no okay. Game of Thrones. The Game of Thrones. I every time I watch it, I have to have Eric explain it to me because not only he knows the family, he knows yeah. every last name of every kingdom and first name and nickname, and I'm just like. He can like draw a map, and I just am like, who's who? Does the map like move and like, dee -dee -dee -dee. yeah, exactly. And it grows up like, the, yeah, no. So, it, it, I, uh, I like uh, Silicon Valley. Silicon Valley just premiered Sunday. Tell me you've watched the show. I watched the first couple episodes, and I couldn't. I no. enjoyed it, but I didn't like it. No. Yeah. Dan. I didn't get to the episode that you told me about that made me want to watch it, which was them going on a vision quest to name. Yeah. <laughs> 
I, was I like, didn't get that far into it. I got into it. I was like, I like it. I see what they're doing. It feels very Mike Judgy. It's Mike Judge. It's I swear there's very few shows that make me like laugh till I cry. Like you do, you make me laugh till I cry often. Hey. That show, that show does that. It's so freaking funny to me. So I um I freaking love it. And there, there's there's like a 12 minute video where it goes through all the funny clips from last season. That's I watched all over again and again was like crying. So awesome. anyway, yeah, um, well, I'll try to get back into it. We're yeah. you know we're we're busy with Parenthood. We're still working our way through Parenthood. So it's uh, between that and John Oliver. I still got to watch the Scientology documentaries. Oh, that's good or creepy. Yeah, I read the book. It's based on. And I oh. loved it. I thought it was so cool. So I'm really into it. But let's let's talk about beers. Beer. Cheers. Cheers. Beers. What do you got? What do you got? Uh, I have um, a notification that my checking balance is a little low. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have uh, my left hand brewing company oh. nitro milk stout. Nice. So this is, um, first of all, I got this, I think was, I got two beers from them because I like the vaguely, there's a vaguely, there's vague satanic mid to a red left hand. Okay. The left hand, of course, being the hand dedicated to the devil or in, um, in uh, cultures that don't use toilet paper, the hand you use to wipe your butt. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I don't know which this meant, but I just liked the kind of ominous black label. Um, so the this is a, something I, I've had a couple of the, So I bought a six pack of this when I got it, and um, I really enjoy it. It's a it's a very respectable milk stout. It's uh it's really nice. It's got some body to it. It's a nitro. Where's the head? Oh, I don't know. You don't get it when you pour it out of my. Whatever. No, pour it a little higher. I want to see what it does. No, nothing. But uh, the uh, ah. I just interpreted that to be the name of the thing. I didn't think it was actually referring to the like. Yeah, I don't know. But who knows? But in any case, um, now I poured too much of this. Thanks. Let me just. Oh yeah, just just drink it. Listen, when I was in college, I was drinking that beer. This one? That one. Not the nitro version, but um, just the left-hand milk stout. Really? Yep. Where's it from? Yeah, it's old. Oh, I didn't know that. So much. Longmont, Colorado. Okay. Yeah, I was drinking that a long time ago. Weird. I had no idea. I just assumed it was one of these, you know, new Jack. Yeah, well, the nitro thing is new um, on the label, but absolutely the milk stout, um, for sure. Yeah. Cool. So you like it? Good. It's not flat. It looks flat. It might be a little flat. It's this one in particular seems a little flatter than average, but uh, there are bubbles in it. It's uh, in your any case. I've had many of these now over the past couple of weeks, and it's a very uh, drinkable stout. So it's like you get all the things I like in a milk stout, but I don't feel like I have to go take a nap after. Right. And, uh, in general, it's really nice, and I just really like it. So there you go. Cheers. Good. Cheers. Uh -huh. I. <laughs> now you, Patty. Now what me. What beer okay. did you bring this week? This is a call out to my neighbor beer friend who brought over some beers the other day, a bunch of different stuff. This is from Red Hook. Mm. Riberia, maybe? Yeah, Riberia. And I have to say, the whole rye thing is surprisingly pleasant to me i like it you mean like, like the, it's like kind of a trend you mean you feel like in, in beers like i guess i mean i don't i'm not the hugest rye bread fan you know i'd kind of avoid it but uh you hate you hate jewish people no no that's not that's no, i get not. it i get it <laughs> you're kind of a bigot i get it <laughs> um, but anyway this is called the secret stash series um, Riberia, and it's um, Siberian for damn fine dark rye. Oh, that's what that means. <laughs> um, 
But Red Hook is kind of hit or miss, I have to say. But uh, I was going to say, I didn't peg you for a Red Hook. Uh, like I said, it came from, I've got the beer fridge in the garage. The neighbor brought some over. We traded some beers. Mm -hmm. And not something I would pick, but thank you, Rob. And this is actually really, really good. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. There's a... I like rye. There's a, I always like the Sierra, what's Sierra Nevada's rye? They have the right one with like the old dude on it. It was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like very intense. And I always like that one. But yeah. there, I do feel like there are a lot of rye heavy beers out now or whatever. And yeah, sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't. And it's always kind of in the back. You know, it's kind of like the aftertaste is quite rye ish. And um, I like it. I like it. I like it. Cheers. Cheers. Yes. Um, I'm telling my. So we have, um, so you picked this week's article. I did pick this week's article and let me pull it up because I closed all my windows. Oh no. Foolishly when I started the. Well, I've got it here if you want me to do it. Sure. You want to show it? Yeah. On I can drive. I can drive. Um, here we go. Pull up that article, girl. Okay. So you chose 15 places you should be sharing your blog posts other than Facebook and Twitter. Yep. Well, yeah, so my main thing here was uh, I've been thinking a little bit about um, blogging recently because I'm kind of starting up a new uh, website for one of my services, kind of servicing a specific target market. And, you know, when you do that, you think about, you know, what are you going to do organically and how are you going to get leads and blah, 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 blah. And, uh, you know, thinking about blogging in that context, um, and it's just kind of interesting to me. So I was uh, just kind of thinking it over and, and really thinking that I haven't done much active blogging. I really haven't done any active blogging in a long time. Mm -hmm. I played around with having hiring someone to blog for me. It just has never been particularly valuable for me as a uh, legion source and it's not that I don't think it is that I it's just that it's not something I particularly f am, have a great to, great way of finding the time to do and um, I haven't needed it because we've sort of specialized in other legion sources right either whether it's networking or PPC or whatever so I kind of do that stuff because it's what I'm comfortable with right so it's uh, <laughs> you know I was kind of thinking it over and thinking like oh, I don't really there's got to be all sorts of new stuff in the blogging game that I only yeah. really know. And I sort of keep tabs on it for clients when they ask. But, uh -huh. um, you know, my kind of old chestnut that I always trot out is, like, it's not necessarily, like, where you're sharing it or what the tools are. It's about the content and blah, blah, blah. But that said, <coughs> it's a very different kind of world out there now, especially with things like Medium and LinkedIn Pulse and uh, all these sort of, Right. Channels that are kind of combining all sorts of different stuff. And so I thought this article was interesting because it's like a bunch of just places to share your stuff. If you write something, you got to promote it. It's something I think in general people don't do a lot of. So, yeah, I thought we'd just kind of go through the list and see. You could actually tell me what you think of some of these things. Uh, the SlideShare one, I kind of rolled my eyes a little bit. I, I like SlideShare. I really do. I'm going to start doing some more of it. I have a client that I'm going to be – Managing some slideshare posting of that she has some uh, presentations that we're gonna repurpose this way and um, I actually use slideshare. Do you use it? Do you? Uh, no, no okay. I never used it. I, it's like a, <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't I don't I don't really do the content thing a whole lot. Okay, like, I do it's largely as like a webinar or something that, that I want people to opt in for Right. So um, it, it's not, it's something that I think is cool to do if you're really doing that kind of like content link building stuff, but I don't necessarily do a ton of that. Myself. You know, I, I consume a lot of, of slide shares. So when I'm either researching or looking up or find a link on Twitter, I'll actually flip through, flip through slide share. I actually really like it. Really? Because most of the time I feel like when I look at a slide share, it seems like it was meant to be a presentation where someone spoke and because no one's speaking, it, yeah, I can never tell. I'm like, all right, this is. It's like a. Right. There's a slide of like a goat, and it's just like, and you're right. like, oh, I'm sure that was hilarious. <laughs> in person. It, you know, I 
I get that. I really do. And a lot of, you know, the trends now are just have like big pictures and very few words. And then you just voice over everything. But sometimes I, you, there's some big, I don't know. Don't be such a cynic, Dan. There's some, uh, good, so there's some good stuff. All right. So visually, do you know this one? I don't know that one. Okay. I, let's see if I have this here. Is this visually? No, let's scoop it. Okay. So I have all of these. Is this it? This is visually. So here's the website for that. Um, so yeah, is this, graphics. is this the infographic one? Woo. Um, yeah. Infographics, other types of visual content. Yeah. So I don't think every blog post needs to be a infographic. Do you, do you see infographics sticking around and being a really big, no, um, they're annoying as hell. They are, they are annoying, right? It's like the worst way to process information, I feel like. <laughs> I feel like it's such a myth. See, and it, it, the, the, the reason that they're popular is because it's, it's easy to share. So it's yeah. one of those things where the primary uh, benefit is to the content producer, not to the content consumer. Yeah. I really believe this. So it's like, for, for me, nothing that is that will stick around more than a couple of years. Yep. Because it's like just like, oh, I get links back to my doodle or whatever. And, I, you know, I'm sure there are some people who are like, rather than read an article on ISIS, I'd like to read a 10-story infographic about it. But it's like who – it's false learning. It's not real. It's not real. You don't actually get anything out of it. Maybe that's wrong. Maybe that's just me. Yeah. Maybe, maybe I'm just – it's just not my cup of tea, and I don't get it. But I don't get it. The kids these days with their rap music, I don't understand. Well, I mean, I, I, I get the idea of sort of pre-chewing or pre-thinking about information and presenting it in a way visually that can be digested and scanned easily. But I think we've gone, I think we've gone past the point of usability on that. You know what I mean? It's sort of, I don't know, may, may, maybe the time's come and gone. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, all right, so the next one here is in LinkedIn groups. That's that wasn't a new one for me. I think sharing on LinkedIn and LinkedIn Publisher, um, you know, is a great place to obviously share your blog, right? Yeah. Um, Pinterest, or you know, which obviously I love, but um, you know, if you're looking to, you know, if your target market is women, right? Or your company primarily sells yarn. <laughs> or uh, pictures of food during magic hour. Oh, stop, stop, stop. No, I think Pinterest is fantastic. But again, what are you sharing? Again, it's, I guess, a visual representation of your blog that then drives back traffic to yeah. your right? you know, the catching image, which is harder to do. Um, yeah. <laughs> you know, but maybe, maybe not harder to do, but. Oh. Depends, depends on your target market. I mean, I mean, I think, um, you know, what is it? It's still almost 80% women on Pinterest and uh, half of them are mothers, right? Have, or, you know, that, that, that was, that was the last. Well, no, no, Cause that, it's actually a, a misconception, I think. Cause there's 80% are women. Half of them are your mother. <laughs> Stop, it. Stop it. Okay. Instagram. You know, this is this is going after possibly a younger demographic. Although I see all my friends starting to join Instagram now, so maybe it's um, I, yeah. I have loved Instagram. Instagram, just thinking about this, is kind of is the primary way I take pictures of my son. Yeah. So both uncomfortably public and <laughs> and I'm terrified that they're going to go out of business and I'll lose all his photos. So I actually back up all my Instagram photos to Evernote. Oh, good. But yeah, interesting. Yeah. Good. Good. Yeah, I mean, again, so so if you have a blog post, you know, um, obviously visuals are always a good idea to even incorporate just in your publishing of your blog as well, because that will, you know, drive traffic or drive um, interest, right? So kind of share that on Instagram. Um, do I say this Triber? Triber? Triber. Triber. Oh, Tribe. Triber. Got yeah, it. Like Triber. Got it. Okay. Like Maria um, Triber. Maria. <laughs> nice. So let's see if I can get to, okay, so that's here. This is what this looks like. So this was one I did not know. I did not I know did this know either. Fiber. Did you know the last one? Yes. Okay. The other one I, I was not I was not familiar with either. So what do you think of this? Did you spend any time poking around? Uh, I looked at it, but I did not really get it. So is it, 
it's like you share your articles. Okay. And the idea is that everyone else that reads it is bloggers? This platform is a social network where joining targeted tribes can help you build relationships with other bloggers. Okay, so I guess it's a social network for bloggers yes. and it's segmented by interest. So if I wanted to blog on AdWords, I would join the AdWords triber. And so I'm forming alliances and stuff, and people might share my stuff. That's the idea. Yeah, so let's see what's um, rising here. Startup Legal Matters, um, wearable tech. Okay. So what could we do? Could you and I do something interesting, maybe join an SEO tribe and start promoting this call? I'm sure we could. Maybe we should. Let's let's do a test of that. What do you say? All right. All right. Very good. Done. All right. Stumble upon. Is that still relevant? Yeah. Stumble okay. upon is actually still a significant it, – it, it's one of those things where – it's like if I told you that uh, Friendster is worth like $50 billion and you'd be like, what? Yeah. Stumble upon is one of those things where it's actually a really significant source of traffic for a lot of folks. Mm -hmm. um, I know Tim Ferriss has talked about – Publicly, he uses stumble upon really extensively for for public care for promotion and stuff. So it's uh, yeah, I don't know. It's not something I've ever used for fun. Yeah. You know, speaking of Tim Ferriss, I actually watched one of his periscopes yesterday. Have you been checking those out at all? No, I don't know what that is. You don't know what it is? It's like uh, the competitor to Meerkat. Periscope was purchased by Twitter. Okay. And so it's one of those um, real-time video apps, mobile apps. Okay. So I kind of watched Tim Harris from a tea shop somewhere out in California yesterday, and I was like, just, I don't know. It, it, just staring at his face the whole time. I, it was, it, it's fascinating. I don't know. It, and the, the thing with the Periscope is as it happens, it pops up on your phone. Like, hey, this one's giving a Periscope. And I'm like, oh, what's, what's, you know, Tim Ferriss, the, the expert and all guru on this week because he yeah. kind of becomes the master of whatever. I actually just listened to his <laughs> interview with Glenn Beck. Which was interesting. Very interesting. I am, I'm going to have to see that. I'm yeah. fascinated. Let's just keep talking about okay. blogging, though. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I ideas. I, you do? Okay. So, um, so we can go back to 15 things. Here we go. Um, so now we're on to Google Plus communities. Um, Not really going to be there for that much longer, it seems like. I don't know. It's still pretty significant. I just watched a um, SEO Moz, uh, or sorry, a Moz Whiteboard Friday where Rand was talking about how significant still Google is as it comes to SERP um, and impacting the SERP ranking. So it's not... Not over with yet. Biz Sugar. Yeah, I've re I think I've read Biz, Biz Sugar like once or twice. Again, it's still kind of like an aggregator of. Yeah. Sort of similar yeah. to is that similar to Medium? Um, not sure. Here, let's bring it up. I think I have it here. Um, Biz Sumo. Biz Sugar. So it looks kind of like this. I didn't like the design of it, so it. Yeah, uh, the design's a little rough. Yeah, it's funny. The colors remind me of a site I worked on back when I was consulting, and it kind of turned me off a little bit. But um, Oh, so when you like it, you give it a sugar. So it has 18 sugars. Oh, and no. That's horrible. Give me some sugar. Google. Call it right now. Biz Sugar going out of business. Okay, don't like it. Um, but it's a thing. Okay. Uh, your email list, there's a no-brainer, right? Yeah. Um, scoop it. Scoop it was new to me, I have to say. Scoop it, I think I have, is right here. So it's you've got this freemium idea, so you can join for free. Otherwise, you pay by the number of sort of almost like tribe, triber. You know, you kind of pay by the topic that you're publishing in. Yeah, this is like it's putting content in front of people who might want to share it, basically. Yeah. Yeah, so I guess it's sharing it... Um, Probably not terribly too dissimilar to um, Haro. Haru, help a reporter out that idea where you kind of, but maybe the other way around, you put it out there and see who wants to repurpose it. Mm. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe. Oh, there's this guy. Okay. See some similar names. 
Um, yeah, you know, I don't know. I think that this was the one that you sort of pay for. So, or, so yeah, so there's a freemium idea, or for $11 a month, you can have five topics that you can yeah. participate in. So, yeah, so I guess the goal here would be that you would get published for pay, possibly, or for reach, right? Someone would find your blog that you're sharing on Scoop It, and then um, that would lead to some sort of ROI if you're in. Mm. Yeah, I think it's like for people people who are looking for content to share or talk about or whatever. Yes. Okay. Good. Um, niche based social bookmarking sites. So okay, um, these I didn't bring up. Yeah, and that's okay. It's basically yeah. saying whatever whatever content you're sharing, whatever you're talking about. There's going to be some sort of right industry specific thing, probably. Yeah. So um, I think of that as sort of like boards, like um, you know, more like message boards or conversations, kind of. Message boards. Why don't you just share it in AIM instead? I <laughs> Shut up. All right, blog engage. Oh, this one I didn't look up. Yeah, um, blog engage. I didn't know. Okay. So let's see what that one looks like. I'm not really so sure. Everything from finance to anime to cosmetics. Okay. Bad pop up. Yeah, and then there's more of these guys here. Got the infographic stuff. Do people read sites like this? I don't know. These guys do. Um, yeah. I feel like this is the kind of site, and I, I don't want to talk bad about Blog Engage because I don't know them, but I feel like this is the kind of website where Someone sits down and they're like, I would like to use the internet to read a blog, and then they Google the word blog. Yeah, and then this kind of stuff comes up. Yeah, interesting. So, okay, so there's Blog Engage. Um, you know, Reddit, I like to use Reddit for researching topics to suggest that my clients blog about. Mm. Um, Reddit's cool. Yeah. But Reddit's one of those sites where to use it for promotion of any kind, I feel like you also have to use it if you want to promote there particularly well, right? Because it's a yeah. it's a it's a communities within community because you have Reddits within the you know, subreddits within the larger Reddit or whatever, and there are different kind of sets of rules and community stuff. So it's like the I love Reddit. I'm on I go on Reddit for Reddit's like my go to I'm watching TV I, I just instinctively you know flip open my iPhone I don't know what this <laughs> yeah and then I talk into it like this right but uh you know I just kind of will browse reddit and I'm constantly adding weird reddits to yeah. my reddit app because I'm like it's just I find it very curious like there's one called um contagious laughter which okay. videos of people losing it which is um it's consistently the best thing so you can, like, do that to me. Um, <laughs> or um, idiots fighting things, which is people attacking inanimate objects, but okay. then getting hurt. Oh no. Which I can watch all day. Oh no. Uh, but then there's all this weird, this is weird. So like I'm on the fitness subreddit and the men's fashion subreddit, obviously. Right. Right. But, the, but then there's all these weird like <laughs> offshoots of those. So like off the fitness one, there's one that's called progress. Which no. is like it's like progress photos of people losing weight or uh, or like get, trying to get ripped, but no. it's very like bro centric, mm -mm. but kind of like ironically bro centric. <laughs> so it's like these are like this is like five levels deep. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like that's a weird niche audience, and you would never find that or even know that that was there without right. really actively kind of trolling through. And so it's uh, <laughs> I think it's cool. I'm gonna mess around with Reddit ads. I think. Oh yeah. Yeah, I, I think it's. Um, I'm curious. Mm. I'm curious how it'll work. So I'm gonna play around with those. You know, I, I like it for sort of like cutting edge sort of stuff. I have a client that's into um, food specific, trendy kind of stuff. So once you know, I kind of see it uh, trending and people having conversations with it on Reddit, then I know that it's it's a good place to kind of jump on and start publishing some content on. But I'm also, ruining it. You're ruining it, Patty. Am I ruining it? Yeah. Well, there's you're hovering until you find something that people like, Ugh. and you're publishing content. 
Listen, Daddy. I'm an SEO. I'm an SEO at the core. So, so I have two other websites that I think I've mentioned before, but I thought would be worth bringing uh, up. So for people looking to share blog posts. Well, it's not even sharing. I think for me, it's using to discover topics to actually blog about. Like, yeah. like I just said for Reddit. So there's BuzzSumo. Right. So do you use that to I do use Buzzsumo. Buzzsumo is pretty awesome. Yeah. And that's um I don't know if it's worth sharing some of these uh views, but here this is this will be when we do this. Um so here's what Buzzsumo looks like and you can see what's trending as far as, you know, kind of kind of topics here. And it shows you how many people have shared a particular article. So this is what other blogs are, how other blogs are performing, and you can kind of see how your own blog is performing. But if I was going to put like IPA beer, who knows if something is, oh, oh, rip a beer. What the hell? <laughs> um, rip a beer. That's that new Kelly rip a beer. It auto-corrected me. So, you know, so here's some interesting thing. This was this article that was really huge. I actually tweeted this one about Lagunitas suing Sierra Nevada over a label. In front, yeah, yeah, it's a it's a copyright infringement. It was a their label, the way that um, Sierra Nevada put large IPA, sort of like the way Lagunitas sucks has that big IPA on there. Um, they uh, they they got they got sued. So anyway, There's, the copyright is the size of the words IPA. It, it's bizarre. It's bizarre. I don't even want to click through, but yeah, that, that's that's for another time. These. You know, if you want to look like a real dick and craft beer, just start suing somebody over something stupid, you know? Like, that's just not cool. Yeah, well, um, I mean, it's like you talk about it like they're small companies. But these are huge companies. Well, of course, yeah, they're not. But, you know, beer's a friendly place, so keep it – don't be a jerk. Um, is it, though? It is a friendly place, damn it. All right. Um, so, anyway, this is buzzsumo.com. This is a really great place. I kind of like this one, too. This is called Topsy. Have you seen this one? I think we talked about this once before. Yeah. So, it, it's you show me this, but I haven't used it. Yeah, it's kind of neat. So, if I do kind of like the same thing here, if I put in, like, IPA beer, I can kind of see what is sort of trending, finding articles about particular topics. So, um, here, you know, my five IPAs. Oh, so it's searching Twitter and... Yeah, and you can choose, you know, in the past eight days, in the past hour, you know, it's... And I have an app on my phone, too, a, um, a mobile app that does something very similar to this. So, and I, I forget if I talked to you about this. It's my new favorite app. It's called... Shut up. Nuzzle? N-U-Z-Z-E-L. Okay. Okay. And it does pretty much the same thing, but it... It does it based on I'm logged in and I have it connected to both my Facebook and my Twitter. So all the people that I search on Twitter and Facebook, it shows what's trending in terms of what's been shared most or commonly between those that I follow on Twitter, which which is actually like super, super cool. So and this is where I find stuff that I share with my followers and community. So in the last 24 hours, the um you know, the one thing on my nuzzle here that's that's trending is that issue with the Google Maps loophole that allowed somebody to put Edward Snow Den. Edward, Edward's Snow Den. Edward's yes. Snow Den. Was that brilliant? So anyway, so that's kind of where I found that. And, and it's like a very cool, I don't think we can show sort of the, yeah, that's going to yeah. fit. But anyway, it's a, it's a super cool app. And you can search from, you know, the last 24 hours, last two hours, last week. You can just see what the common thread is. And if you follow a lot of people within your niche and within your, um, you know, your, your business that, you, that, that, that you're in, a lot of experts and stuff, you're going to see some really interesting things trend without having to sit there and actually stare at your Twitter feed or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But anyway, I, I like those two apps. How about you? How about me what? I don't know. I, um, I, don't, I don't like those apps. Blog, <laughs> the blog ideas? Where do you go? No, I mean, uh, I, I don't, yeah, I'm just kind of thinking about it. I don't know if I am going to blog, to be totally honest. <laughs> this is very time consuming. <laughs> what about, well, what about articles for this blog that we do? Uh, how do find that? Like, how do you find ideas on what to talk about and what really to Really consistently, the, what I, the way I find stuff every week is I, anytime I find a blog anywhere that I like, mm -hmm. and it, whether it's on Twitter or whatever, anytime I read an article that I like that I think the blog is worthwhile, I save it to Feedly. Yeah. I look at Feedly a couple times a week. Mm -hmm. 
and save things to pocket to read later. Yeah. Um, and then every couple times a week, I'm going through pocket and reading articles that I think are valuable. And then things that I want to save for reference go into my Evernote. And then, mm-hmm. I, and then right in pocket, I can just text you and say, like, check this out or let's do this or whatever. So that's been my, my kind of workflow forever. The, the problem that I run into is not um, how do I find content. Okay. That's not the problem. The problem is how do I find content that's actually any good? Right. Because it's a very easy now. I mean, it's always been easy, but it's it's very easy to do something that, like for example, something that drives me crazy it is like an article that is just this guy said this in this other article. Here's a quick yeah. blah, and then a blah blah, blah and then I'll like share that, and I'm just like I didn't I didn't need you to add your little yeah boop. You know what I mean? And it's, um, we've talked about this before. I, I, I am often consumed with existential dread at the surface level of much of the content that I read. So I'll be reading some article about the Google Maps loophole, and in the back of my head, I'll be thinking, like, I never read War and Peace, and I'm probably going to die, and I'll never have read it. I'll have read this. <laughs> Well, actually, that? that's what I like about Nuzzle is that I'm reading the articles that kind of like bubble up that once I see enough influencers within my market, you know, my word SEO, influencer makes me want to throw up. Oh, Tribe shit. influencer, all this stuff <laughs> makes well, me want to vomit. That's the thing, though. I mean, you and I are definitely getting jaded. I, I, you know, the, the gurus and the experts and all the rest, I just keep hearing the same thing over and over and over again and i'm kind of like about to jump out of my skin i think the problem is everything is about everything and even the stuff (laughs) we talk about here which is valid for what we do we gotta know how to do it everything is about what does everyone else think oh i know giant undulated blob of like boo he shared this so i'll share All all right all right and it's like just it's like i want i want someone you know, anybody to like the things that actually make a difference and are cool. Yes. Are the things where someone was like, F every single person here, uh, I'm going to do something so completely different. Yeah. I'm going to just, I don't know, like just throw a bomb into a crowd metaphorically. Right. But just, just be like the opposite of that. Yeah. And it's, uh, I, I feel like so much of the technology that we use is about taking the temperature yeah. before you do anything. It's a lot of this. It's a lot of, like which way is the Yeah, exactly. Topic. How do I jump in front of the trend? The trend is everyone jumping in front of the trend. There's right. there is no trend. There's <laughs> right. nothing. There's well, nothing that, so the and I've I've talked with my friend Tim about this at length, about like the yeah. um, the emptiness of that culture. And it's to a boring. certain extent, it's just uh, all human culture is empty. Yeah. And, you know, we can't, nothing can address our, uh, you, the dawning awareness of our own uh, mortality. And so, you know, we just fill it with the thing. Fill uh, it with anything. I, well, I have an idea. I have an idea. Why don't we take this talk and, no, seriously, take this talk and see which of these blog platforms performs we can tag each one which is the one that uh that caters to the existential uh, <laughs> i'm sure there's a reddit i'm sure there's there's, there's some there's some hole in reddit of oh yeah oh, <laughs> i'm on no. all those just deep dark holes in the oh come on no but seriously we should, but i mean this is how you get original content right you do your own testing you do your own evaluation you then say i did these no, things no, no, That's no. One. no testing no, oh. that's the opposite. You it is? You ask everyone what they think first. No, I'm not asking everyone what they think. different. That's the whole, that's like why Steve Jobs is Steve Jobs and Bill Gates is Bill Gates. You didn't, do, you don't do the thing. You just do your own thing. No more testing. We're canceling it. Now, no, for, for, for other saying, people's businesses, I could give a crap. And I'm I'll test my Whatever. Dan, Daniel, I'm saying we just talked about 15 different platforms. Let's see which one drives traffic, and then we could talk about 
Traffic the is the yes. currency of the morally bankrupt. All right, fine. I quit. I tried. People, I tried. I'm done. No, I, 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 yeah. I, yeah. No, I think it's interesting. I mean, it'd be interesting to see where people <laughs> react to it. We can test clicks. We can see. Right, by the way, this call. Yeah. Perfect example. Okay. No one knows. No one knows about us. This is like nothing else in the whole SEO world. <laughs> nothing else. We are true originals. No call. No webinar. Whatever this is. Yeah. This. Yes, I know. Well, it's a, it's a hangout on air, Dan. It's a hangout oh on. Oh God! Even the, the words "hangout on air." On Google, on Google Plus, that may or may not on? exist. What are you hanging on, Google? Answer me that. It's air. <laughs> right. I have to go. I have to go. <laughs> I, I've got a tuna sandwich from yesterday that I did <laughs> in my fridge, and I had too much of this beer. I drank the whole thing. It was delicious. <laughs> We're gonna we're gonna result to serious day drinking every Wednesday at noon. That's what the whole purpose of this call right. was originally. Patty, thank you so much as always. Thank you to everyone that's watching this. I can't tell you how much we appreciate it. Please tell your friends. Uh, we'll be back next week. Same uh, bat channel, same bat time. It's Wednesday noon Eastern Standard Time. And of course, if you caught half this episode and you want to catch the first half, or you want to check out any of our other episodes, you can go to Two Friendly Nerds dot com slash hangout or go on the YouTubes and type in SEO and IPA. Patty from reInvent Interactive, thank you so much. As always, uh, I realize I'm a hard person to live with, to get along with, but I appreciate your efforts in that direction. And uh, as always to you guys, thank you so much and Optimize responsibly. Optimize responsibly. Cheers, everybody. We will talk to you next week. Mm.